Hey guys, it's Dave and it's Friday again, so I'm here doing another uh, screencast. This time I'm doing a, uh, <clears throat> an application slash website. Uh, if you look at this right now, you might think it was a desktop application, but this is actually running inside of Firefox. So if I go up here to the address bar, you'll see that I'm at 280slides.com. And basically, based on the name, as you might have guessed, and also uh, just the look of the program, uh, it's a, a presentation application, something like... Uh, Microsoft's PowerPoint or Keynote on the Mac um, but it's all done in your browser and it works really well so <clears throat> if I go over here there's a lot of features that you might expect in a desktop uh, variant of a presentation program obviously you can make new slides duplicate them delete uh, there's even themes so if I go over here and uh, pick a different theme do the city one click OK and then bam right off the bat switches over to the city uh, theme little cityscape action right here. Uh, let's try a different one. Try the sky one. There you go. It switches again. doesn't look as great here, but you can drag things around and make them look the way you want. But I'll go back to the original one. So right here, uh, I've just been playing with this for a couple minutes, so I put some text on Dave's presentation, obviously. There's a little uh, name for this if you need that, and then by me, obviously. Um, if I want to edit some of this, you can, just like you would in a desktop application, click in the box and change whatever you want and click off and there you go. So it works really well, uh, no reloading or anything obviously. It's run uh, written in a version of Cocoa that's built for web applications and it runs really well. <clears throat> so uh, those are just some of the features. Up here you can even add shapes and stuff to your uh, presentation, so if I click the shapes button brings up the media browser and this is actually pretty cool um, instead of just being a uh, standard pop-up you can actually move this around just like you would in a, an application so if I'm using the media browser I can put it up in the middle and do whatever I want to do and then when you're done with it just slide it off and go about your business which is pretty cool so if I uh, double click the box and put a box in there so obviously this is nothing revolutionary you'll see those blue lines and that's one feature I wanted to mention uh, whenever you're in, at the absolute center, either vertically or horizontally, you get these blue lines that tell you that you're in the middle. And that's a handy feature to have. Um, I, I don't know about you guys, but I always have difficulty finding the absolute center of whatever I'm working on in a uh, desktop presentation application. So uh, to have this feature that tells you where you're at is pretty cool. I'd like to see that in the desktop version. But from here I can change the size, obviously drag it out, make it a bit smaller. And you can also change the color. I don't really care for that blue color. <clears throat> so I'll change it to green, which is my favorite color. And then you can even change the opacity. So you'll notice as I do that, the opacity of the box uh, changes. And then I could use this as sort of a header if I wanted to. Um, so uh, if I go up here, and I'll just show you some of the other stuff you can do. If I make a new slide, Obviously, it has a default uh, slide layout. I'm not sure if they have multiple slide layouts. Actually, yeah, up here. I just noticed um, you can pick from a couple different slide layouts, which is cool. Obviously, like I said, I haven't really been playing with this very much, uh, so I'm not too familiar with it yet, but I just wanted to show you some of the basic functionality. So if I uh, <clears throat> went up here and wanted to do Lily, that's the name of my niece, um, and then from here I can drag this over, make it a bit smaller. And if I type in, uh, Lily has a tricycle, I can even add images. So if I go back to the media browser, right here you'll see I uploaded an image. And in order to upload images, you can also do URLs, by the way. Uh, you have to have an account at 280slides.com, but it's totally free, so that's no big deal. Um, obviously, you could upload and then browse. That's the image I just uh, added. So um, if I double-click this, it'll pop it in for me. There's my niece, and I can obviously I can resize this, move it around however I uh, want to. So that's pretty cool. Uh, without going too further in depth, uh, some of the other stuff you can do is add notes over to the side for whenever you want to present, which is pretty cool. Um, there's obviously undo and redo. That's pretty simple. Uh, if I wanted to add a new box, new text box, just click the text button, drag it around, do whatever you want. Basically, I'm just trying to show that there's pretty uh, great functionality for um, what you would normally expect from presentation software, but it's all done in your web browser. And so things like, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I might have, 
Adobe Buzzword, which is a, a word processor, um, and obviously Google Docs, it shows that this is kind of the wave of the future and more uh, typically desktop applications will probably be moving online in the future and this is a great example of that. They've really done a great job here. So whenever I'm done uh, making my presentation, I can go up here and click present and obviously uh, goes full screen. You probably can't tell too much um, because the window is so small here, but if I click it moves on to the next slide and obviously you can present. Um, and then there's a little end of slideshow because I only did two slides. Another cool thing is that you can download and share your slide or your presentations whenever you're done. So if I, I don't know if you can see this, I'll try to scroll in a little bit. If I go over here, there's a few buttons. Obviously, the present button, which I did just used. Um, if I go over to the downloads button and go down, uh, click that. Um, there's the PowerPoint you can download, and that works in uh, Keynote as well. I think um, the different PowerPoint formats. Obviously, an open document format, and then a PDF. So if you're uh, you want to make your presentation at 280slides.com and then run it in a uh, desktop um, application if you don't have internet or if you're worried about losing internet right before your presentation, you can do that. There's also <clears throat> some sharing uh, functionality. I haven't really messed with that very much, but what I'm assuming is that lets you share it to uh, people either by email or if they have a 280slides.com account. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty uh, awesome web application, I have to be honest, probably the best um, from just from a functionality uh, standpoint, the best web application I've seen uh, so far. So really cool. Like I said, it's totally free. So definitely check it out. And I think from now on, I'll start to use this way more often. That way, you don't have to worry about uh, presentation software if it's not if you're working on a different machine than you're usually on and you don't in Microsoft Office or Keynote isn't installed. Uh, you can just get at it by going to 280slides.com. So it's got some really cool functionality and works really great. Um, so check it out, 280slides.com. We'll see you next week.